Alright guys, so this is resolving an issue that's pretty well known, um, it's, um, if you're having frame stutters or skipping frames, so one of the big ones, well, a fix that I, I found was just to lower your settings so you always get above 60 frames per second and put on vertical sync. Um, but if you don't want to do that and you get around 35 to say maybe 45 FPS, um, on high settings, then there is a fix, and um, that's why I started looking this up and trying to find how to fix it. So I will show you an example. So I'm on all high settings right now, highest they'll go, and um, I get a little frame hit from recording, but let's see if the frame stutters will show up, and I will show you the fix I found for this. And it's pretty simple, so stick with me here. So I will show you where. So I know some. I just started. I haven't done anything in the game really, because um, I started the tutorial and that's where I noticed them. So as you can already see coming in, there's already stutter, and I'm not getting the highest frame rate, but I'd, I'd stick around 30 to 45 without recording. So let's see if they'll show up here. Uh, I don't want. Uh, Alright, can you see him, how it skips and it jumps around? That's not a normal type of lag, so... Alright, so, this is how you fix it. So first we're going to exit. We're just going to quit the game. Alright, we're going to open up your web browser of choice. I uh, use Chrome. And, um, just go to Google. And search for Radeon Pro. So the website is radionpro.info. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna click on download Radion Pro right here. And then you go and find it. Alright, so here's this you can just go here. Um alright, so there's a download right here. So click on this and you wait ten seconds. And then it should download automatically. Or it will pop up with a link. I don't really remember, but we'll see. Oh, it's automatic. So it's only 3.5 megabytes, so it shouldn't take all that long unless you have pretty slow internet. But most people, especially if you're in the U.S., should only take a little bit. So just click Run. Click Yes to that. Choose your preferred language, most likely English if you're watching this. Next. Accept the license agreement. And next, you guys are probably going to do it on your C drive. I am going to do it on my D drive because I only have a 32 gigabyte SSD, um, and I don't like installing stuff on there just because it will get full pretty fast. Next, it already exists because I've already created it because I've tested it. Yes, um, sure. Start menu and install. And this will it depends on how fast your computer is, on how fast it will install. Um, just don't check this unless you want to check out the website. And finish. Alright, so this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Um, it's still pretty simple, but I'm just going to show you here anyway. Alright, so you open this up and you click on this where it says add new profile. Click on that, and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the exe for your Witcher. So just go to wherever um, your um, icon is for it, click open, right click on it, click open file location. And then don't do the launcher. Go to bin Witcher 2. If you go to the launcher, it won't work. Um, and then load it. Um, file name Witcher 2. And just click open. So don't worry about any of this. Just go to advanced. Click on fit flip Q size. And then take it up to 1. And then just minimize it. Make sure it's still running over here. And then if you go to games. Or wait, never mind. It's right on my desktop. Let's go to games. No, I do not want the Chinese update. Launch game. Let's let it load. There's probably going to be a little stutter just because I'm recording and I'm maxed out right now and The Witcher isn't all that optimized. So I'm just going to do a new game again. New game. Do the tutorial because that's what we did last time. It's replicating the events. And. The only stutter I see is a lag stutter from 
my frame rate being low, so. And. The stutter is gone. Alright, so that should fix it, or at least lower the problem. Um, there's still a little bit of stutters, but it's still, it's playable. Before, I, I wouldn't deem it playable. So, thanks for watching. Hopefully it helped. If it didn't help, just leave a comment, and I will try to resolve your problem.